Previously on Earthbound Zero. The lamp attacked. A melody began to play. Of Christmas gifts that we never got. That was Great Grandfather's Diary. That was... Fail. Hello and welcome back to Earthbound Zero. With your host, Holler Refiner. Alright. It's a Wally. All right. Come on. I like the music. Oh, smash. Six. Wow. Nintendo. So uh, you probably noticed something. Well, sweet revenge, obviously. But um, seriously, uh, as you can see in the bottom, we're actually level five now, and we have some. New PSI things. The thing about that is off screen, like actually a few minutes ago. Uh, oh, I, love, I, I like this one. Oh, it's, um, uh, that's a weird graphic glitch right there. Um, actually, before I talk about that, I think part of the, the intro of the song is, um, if I remember correctly, like, this song. Sorry, I'm rambling on. Uh, I'll just talk about what I was going to talk about. Um, so, right before recording this video, um, I actually did some off-screen level grinding because I thought I needed it, or else this was going to go nowhere fast. Um, and as you can probably tell, this game has a really annoying encounter rate, and that's actually something that fixed in the... GBA version, but that was only released in America, and they didn't make a prototype like this. Not really prototype, this was 100% finished. Actually, so, yep. There's What's-Her-Face with pink hair. It's pretty awesome. I'm just gonna run this way. As I was saying earlier, if I remember correctly, I saw on some, um, thing for reasons why Earthbound isn't released, won't be released on Virtual Console a while ago. I think this is also, this song is also an Earthbound for Battle song, and I think that the intro to this is, um, one of the copyright things, which would be, it sounds a lot like an intro to, er, that Johnny Be Good, I think, something like that, I don't know. Hopefully I can get an annotation in with that, um, I don't know. Let's see, uh, and as you can see, running is actually really helpful, and... Yeah, we're back in Padong. There's that person. Alright. So there's actually some stuff I want to get done right now. Um, in the department store. So if we go over here and use our cash card on the ATM, we can withdraw money. And after all that level grinding, we have $559. Now, what I want to do here is withdraw $300. Yeah, we can buy drugs! Alright, uh, sports goods, this is what I want. Welcome, what can I sell to you? And here we can buy what we already have, which is an $80 plastic bat. That is ridiculous. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, I thought it was 500 but I wasn't sure. And then slingshot's 120 and then wooden bat is 500 Uh, I <laughs> don't need this to come back when you have it or something like that. Alright, and so, actually, I'm just gonna withdraw some more. So let's just get 200 more, because I want to buy that bad. Because it will be a welcome upgrade. Because the plastic bat's not all that great. You mean the wooden bat? Yes. Uh, we will never visit you again, sorry. <laughs> Alright, now let's just go ahead and equip that, and let's go up here. Now I said that was the only thing I want to do, but... Gasp! Pets? Maybe we can get a new dog, because the other one's weird. He talks and stands on two feet and won't follow us. Oh, I only have a canary? These are annoying. Sorry to the canary hunters. Well, how about $85? No, that's overpriced. I don't have any money. 
If it, if it, I don't even have that much in the thing. Oh, it's, if it, it's free. Awesome. We got we got a canary chick. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna do here is uh real quick. I'm going to show something here. If you talk to the service person, you can uh, return items, which is basically selling them, and they sell for half the price you bought them for. So that's forty bucks. So I like carrying some money around because there's. I think the majority of phones are um, pay phones, like over there, the green thing, you have to pay a dollar to use that, and I did not mean to say that. Um, here we go. Uh, <laughs> if this were uh, the next game in the series, we could just press the L button and do this automatic. Oh my god! <sighs> okay, that was odd. I didn't even know I could make that. Uh, deposit, okay. I need to stop mashing buttons, um, and I don't, I think I mentioned this last video, but this is running on an emulator, because that's actually the only play to, way to play this, um, version of the game, unless you have, like, a Famicom, which is what Mother 1 was released for in Japan, because they got something called the Famicom instead of the NES. Uh, that's a burger shop that was last time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do here is real quick, we are going to come up here, and uh, we can, okay, here we go. So uh, I remember last time we checked this sign, and it says, no no hunting, approaching the canary village, wildlife refuge. And so we're actually going to be heading here, because if you remember, we found a canary, so maybe, since I don't want it, because it'll just be nagging me the whole time. Are canaries like parrots? I don't know. I think they are. I think they're really loud if they're not. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. I don't want to feed it. I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm... Nah, but, Uh, so, ooh. I think, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the canary village with lots of trees. And the, these canaries look like oversized chickens. Okay. So, if we go up here, um will notice, that if I can get over there, uh, let's see, there's a guy with blue hair here, and I'm getting stuck on stuff, alright, here we go, oh, wow, that canary is the baby of singing Laura, will you return her baby to her, yes, where is Laura, dot dot dot, yes, we have to find the, oh, looks like there's something over there, but actually, if we, go over this way, you'll, uh, you won't you will be able to get over there, so I remember like the second or third time I played this game, I forgot how to get over there, and so I spent like half an hour trying to get over here, and what you have to do is you have to go behind the odd colored one, and you can just walk through. So if we can, excuse me, excuse me, uh, talk, I am Laura, and Laura is in the water. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Um, I don't, I don't think we're supposed to be able to go there. I think mean, that's an error. Um, cause I've never seen anyone bring it up. Uh, so if we use the canary chick on her, it will, we'll get a message. Overjoyed with her reunion, boy. With her reunion, Laura began singing. Ninten remembered the tune. So now she's just gonna wander here forever, cause it's all she's good for at this point. So if you look in our state, we now have two of the eight melodies. I was wrong in my last video when I said nine, I guess. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little rusty. Let's see. <laughs> Keep getting stuck on things. No, actually, while I was level grinding, what's kind of funny, um, level two, before I leveled up, I fought a Wally, and I killed it. And I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. And then after that, after I leveled up and went off and healed, I came back, and I actually killed three Wallies in a row, followed by one more at level 4, when I was level 4. So, I was pretty happy about that, because those things make me mad. I'm sorry, those people, they're not things. Wallies are people too! Snake. Solid Later on, we're going to find a new type of snake that we're going to want to kill, but we'll run away 
fairly often, and it's kind of rare, but I'll... That's for way later, so... <laughs> and the awesome music comes back. And his, like, abs or whatever, if you look at his shirt, there's, like, um... It looks kind of like a peace sign. So that's pretty cool. Extremely repetitive, but I like the music, so. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys who are watching this, do you think uh, I should cut out random encounters or what do you guys think? Because if you want me to, I will. Um, so, yeah. show off the hotel. We don't need to stay here, but let's do it. Uh, $39. Whatever, let's do it, let's do it. I uh, just need to go pick up some money. Overpriced hotels are overpriced. I think there's an ATM in there somewhere, but I don't feel like finding it. And it act actually, there probably isn't. I don't know. Yeah, there's 15... Or 15. Whatever, I'll carry 20 with me. I like carrying money around. As I said earlier, I forgot to take more out. Or I deposit all of it, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I really need some water. Alright. Now we can stay. $39 for a night. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. And we don't even, like, get anything. It just goes black, plays a little tune, and that's it. And it, I think there's something in there. No? Are you, really? Huh, actually, hold on. No problem. Um, it's where there was something up here, I don't know. Maybe it was a different place, or maybe that's just Earthbound. Uh, actually, yeah, that's that's Earthbound. Gee, why do I keep doing that? I guess that was the last one in the series I played. Hello, mysterious white-haired man. Be honest, you're a zombie, aren't you? Uh, no? Are you really human? Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. It it's a maiden game. Thanks. Uh, and actually, if we talk to him again, be honest, you're a zombie, aren't you? Yes. There's no cure for zombies! And he runs away. And if you talk to him from this side, he actually runs that way. I'm guessing if you talk to him from this side, blah. Basically, he'll run in the opposite direction. If you go in a building and come back, he'll be back, too, so. And actually, I didn't explain our new PSI things. Um... The two that show, er, well, three that show up here. So that could be, we can read people's minds, that'll be helpful later. Life of Alpha, that will heal us. Uh, healing, that'll heal statuses. And if we go in a state, we can see there's one more that doesn't show up there. That's because it's in battle only, and that's hypnosis. And it can put enemies to sleep, but I don't really use it because I don't find it that helpful. Zombie! Pseudo-zombie draws near. And yes, there's no E at the end because they ran out of space. Uh, and the PSI menu is actually kind of weird. It has, uh, healing here, uh, or, I mean, sorry, life up here, healing here, and goes there. And I think this isn't just life up, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And I'll explain the letters next to those in a second. Actually, let's try hypnosis. Let's see, let's see if it's any good. Awesome work. Oh, never mind, it didn't work. Oh, we got burned! More zombies. No, no, we don't, we, there's no, um zombie apocalypse in this game. But there are zombies. Okay, let's just give up. See, this is why I don't like hypnosis. I like, for me, it, I don't know if it works for you guys, or it's just this enemy or something, but it, it never works for me, and when it does, it doesn't help me at all. It only lasts, like, one turn, and it's, it's not very helpful. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Pseudo zombie return to the dust. Well, pseudo means fake, so if it's a fake zombie, why did it look like a zombie and why did it return to the dust? I wish we had more PP. Um, I think real quick, I'm just gonna stop off at uh, my home, or back at Nintendo's house for some healing. guys in a second once I'm done doing that. Alright guys, I'm back uh, after healing. And actually, on the way
way back. Um, I found a magic herb, and that'll heal us. And that's pretty cool. And, um, also, I one-shotted a Wally with a wooden bat, so that's pretty cool, too. Uh, and what we want to do now is go into the town hall and talk to the mayor. Because, obviously, something's going wrong. The mayor needs to be here. Citizen, I know you'd like to... You would like to help your town. Well, actually, I, I don't. I don't live in the town. I live uh, the uh, Child Estate Cemetery. Oh, that must be what's her face. Um, I'm up for re-election soon. You must help. Please help me. Uh, sure. Oh, you will go there and save her. Return her to me alive, and surely I'll be a hero. Er, um, I mean, you'll be a hero. <sighs> Politicians. Sorry if you're a politician, but come on. That's pretty low. Sending, like, what are we, like, 11? An 11 year old kid out to fight in a cemetery and rescue some other little kid. And you're gonna take all the credit. Like, what the heck? Uh, haha, you shall become a zombie! With lots of E's. Which is kind of ironic considering there's no E in this thing's name. So, let's just uh, kill this real quick. Scratch Nintendo. And if you if you don't talk to these guys, they won't fight you. So if you don't feel comfortable fighting them, you don't have to fight them. The pseudo zombie has returned to dust. You win. So if we just continue going this way, eventually. Excuse me, snake. Awesome. Smash. Snake became quiet. Because we smashed it in the face with a wooden bat. Are you kidding? Stray dog. Let's smack this stray dog right in the face. Peter's gonna be all up. All up here being like. Nintendo! Because that's gonna happen. We're just smacking animals left and right here. Like, seriously. And actually, I think. This is a good place to stop so, recording, so uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this has been Holler Kleiner. Uh, check my main channel out in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.